All right, everybody, welcome back. We are actually in the Great Hall to start off this part. So last time, I actually finished the episode looking for some collection chests, because there's quite a few of those to find around Hogwarts. They give quite a bit of money, apparently. Now, I noticed that Professor Weasley's assignment is actually part of the prepare for your search for the next keeper. So... But for now, I'm actually going to start with Mum's the Word and a Dragon Debrief with uh, Natsu and I and Poppy. And maybe we'll get um, maybe we'll get Sebastian to respond to us again pretty quickly. That'd be interesting. Yeah, we don't have anything from him yet, but we will. So we got to go to the Divination Tower. I can just I can just travel there. Ooh, divination classroom? Yeah. Is this correct? She is a divination teacher, isn't she? Professor Onai. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Yeah, okay, it says outside the divination classroom, dummy. At least I got a rug to wait on this time. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. It's a little late for that. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. <sighs> I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Nope. No, he cannot. So frustrating. She's already in the thick she of it never anyways. She listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she oh, mentioned. Oh, I thought she was talking about high wing. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. Oh, okay. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That's, that's pretty that sick. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Yeah, how do you become an Animagus? Can we become one? Were you born an Animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Yeah, okay, that's that's all I want to know. It seems like we're not going to be able to become one, which sucks. That'd be now awesome. the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. I mean, she I can see why, no but creature, still, that's pretty especially sick. Especially one as rare as a gazelle should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. Fair point. <sighs> She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Um, I mean, perhaps your mother is right, but at the same time, you've already seen, been seen with me. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? Not, you could have not fled really. the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. 
My mother cannot know where I am all the time. I mean, she's very brave. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Is that it? That was a pretty quick one. So, I, I find it... I mean, first off, Animagus. Animagus? Really sick. I really wish you could become one in this game. It doesn't seem to be an option. But it is very sick. Um, second, she's already been seen with me by the poachers. She's still probably going to be targeted. Let's be real here. So, it's kind of too late for this. Really nice thought, but kind of too late. So, what was the other quest we have? A dragon debrief. Uh, she wants to meet in the three broomsticks. So, Hogsmeade, okay. Another person who's already been seen with poachers. Or seen by poachers with me. So, a little late to escape again. Another Protego hint. Thank you for that. I already know that one. Let's go talk to Poppy here. Oh, right here. Glad you came. Wish I had the courage to go into the forest. Over here. Poppy Sweeting. There we go. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The I dragon told you that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Yes, let's do that. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Um, I mean, honestly, she's already my tied for a uh, favorite person between her, Sebastian, and Natsai, so I might as well tell her. It's to do with Ranrock. Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Yep. Don't worry. I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I, I mean, shan't it is your own details. now. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. We're blowing through these companion I'll ones. I wish they took a little longer. Location. Thank you, Poppy. Like, she, like I said, she's already tied for like my favorite person. It's really hard to choose, choose between uh, her, Natsai, and Sebastian. They're all really good companions. So, what else do we have for quests available at the moment? I think we'll go straight to Professor Weasley's assignment. I don't know what the field guide page in the underground harbor is, or where that's at. Let's look at the world map. Where? What is an underground harbor? I assume it's also a Hogsward, uh, Ho Hogsworth location? Hogwarts. I said that in the wrong order. Hogsworth. Hogwarts location. Um. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, okay. Viaduct Courtyard. Okay. So let's go first to the... Library Annex. Go to the library. Is it? This is not a sneak location at the moment, is it? That's No, that's the restricted section. Okay. So we got to go to the library. Find a field guide page in Intermediate Transfiguration? Yes. Okay. Oops, sorry. There any time? 
Am I going the wrong way? Is it showing me the uh, aqueduct one? Yes, it is. I want that one. Can you take me to that one, not the aqueduct? Really? Oh, this is back out to the main area again. How do we get in there? Forget. Is it here? This is the restricted section. Let's pull out uh, disillusionment just Perhaps in case. The book Professor Weasley wants me to get us upstairs. Oh, it is. Okay. Revelio. Revelio. It's not here. Where the heck is there another upstairs area of this? There is, in fact. Okay. That works. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to find my way around this place. It's massive. You gotta give me some uh, that book leeway Professor here. Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Yes. Professor Weasley asked me to uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book. If you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Of course, she's Hence, a Ravenclaw. I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. Ooh, I don't None know if I'll do good at this, to be honest. No matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Yeah, why not? A quiz sounds like fun. Yeah, of course Spend she's a Ravenclaw, though. Just obviously. Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which Ooh. magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? I have no clue. Um... I'd, I'd assume it would be something close to the same name. The Golden Snidget. Correct! Yeah, I figured the it'd be something close to the name. The was first name. introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Jeez. Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? I believe it's Felix... Felicious. Yeah, there it is. Felicious? I don't know how to pronounce it, but I know it's the first one. Liquid luck. I think you can have that in this game. Felix Felicis. Felicis, well okay. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. I mean, I can see why the that's an OP the three potion. Brothers involves which magical artifacts? Oh, de the Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? I have no clue what that is. Um... The snitch is not the biggest. That's pretty small. So I'm going to go probably the bludger. The bludger. I'm sorry, but the uh, correct answer was the it. quaffle. Yeah, I did not when know that. I don't know about Quidditch. The through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. I don't True know much about Quidditch, false. to be honest. Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. Uh, false. It just changed form, right? False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used yeah, to change species. age or race, not species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal yeah, I only now. got one wrong. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And what? I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Yes, actually, I would like some more questions. That was actually interesting. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? No clue. Um... What is... Wizard... Wizard's Council? The Wizard's Council. That's correct. 
correct. That was a com the complete Council guess. Disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Blind which guess right dragon there. breed is the smallest? Ooh, once again. I'm going to go with uh I know it's not Iron Belly. I'm going to go with this top one. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. The Antipodean Opali. No, I'm sorry. Oh, really? But the answer was the Peruvian Viper. There's vipers in the name. Though That's the kind of small animal. It's the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length. It is also the fastest breed okay, and that's not very small. venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Once again, uh... I'm gonna go Quincy Hogg, because it's... Quincy Hogg. No, the answer was really? Hengist of Woodcroft. Why is Hogg in his name? It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? A hi the hide behind? I don't even know what that is. So I'm gonna go with, uh... Lethifold, that's the super dangerous one, isn't it? So I'm gonna go Demiguise, that's the only other one I know. A Demiguise. While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. Well, now I know what, what it is. What is the only spell known to repel a lethifold? Probably uh, Patronus, right? It's a dark creature. So probably, it's. I think it's in the same area as the... Uh... What, what guards Azkaban? I forgot the name of them. But they're the same like tier of a dark creature. The Patronus charm. Well done. The only known survivor of a Lethifold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? <laughs> no clue. I don't know who any of these people are. I'm going to go with just the longest name. So, Laverne, Laverne de Montmorency. That's incorrect. Gamp. The answer of course, it was the exact was opposite. Gamp. Okay. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. I shouldn't have said what yes to this. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's this one, but I feel like I'm wrong. I hope it's the first one. Knowledge is the real magic. No, the answer was really? never tickle a sleeping dragon. <laughs> That's Latin, the Hogwarts motto. The Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormian's Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? Um, I don't think it's the basilisk because I don't even think they are common enough to reproduce. Really, uh, either the Ashwinder or the Rune Spore. Um, I'm gonna go with the Ashwinder. The Ashwinder. That's incorrect. The correct answer was the Rune's Paw. I don't know According any of these. According to Parcel Mouths, each of the Rune's Paw's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? I do know that one. Wait, no, I don't. I just know it's in the U.S. Well, it's not in the uh, Amazon, so I don't know what these other are. Where that? What the heck is Mount Greylock? Mount Greylock. Well done. No the clue. American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Isn't Amortentia? The Veritas, Veracitaris. Ah, uh, that's the truth serum, isn't it? So I'm gonna go Amortentia, I think. But I did not know where th exactly Ilvermoni is at. I know it's in the U.S. How the heck am I supposed to know the exact mountain? Amortentia. That's the answer. Amortentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive, such as dusty book covers or. <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. You know what? This has actually been interesting. I'm yes. Give me a. I'm gonna get most of them Wonderful. wrong. Wonderful. I do admire your thirst for knowledge. Emmerich the Evil was killed in a duel against whom? I don't even know who that is. Um, Emmerich the Evil. I hope it's Egbert the Egregious. I really hope it is. Egbert the Egregious. That's right. 
Oh my god. Gained notoriety for terrorizing villages in the south of England during the Middle Ages when he was the master of the Elder Wand. If a chaser keeps their hand on the quaffle as it goes through the goal, what foul are they committing? Uh haversacking. I just like the word. I, I'm not gonna get any of these. I mean, technically, I did get the last one right, but I'm not. None of these are gonna be correct if I do get them right because I know it's it's gonna be blind luck. So I like the word haversacking. Haversacking. That's right. Okay, Blackie two for two. Is flying to intentionally collide with a player. Stooging is when two chasers knock the other team's keeper away from the goals so that a third chaser can score. A bite from a mackled malaclaw has the unusual side effect of causing what? Once again, I have no clue what that animal is. Mackled malaclaw. I'm gonna go webbed feet. Well, no, nah, hairy ears. Hairy ears. No, the answer was bad really? luck. Native to the European coastline, the effects of a malaclaw's bite can last up to a week. What plant excretes stink sap? <laughs> Once again, no clue. Um, that one sounds disgusting. Sopaphorus bean? Sopaphorus bean. I'm afraid the correct answer was Mimbulus mimbletonia. The Mimbulus mimbletonia plant secretes oh God. stink sap as a defensive mechanism when touched. The pepper up potion evolved from a remedy created by which 12th century wizard? Um. I'm gonna go Linfred. That's a 12th century name. Linfred of Stinchcombe. Very good. That's a 12th century Centuries name. later, Glover Hipworth would expand on Linfred's previous work to create the pepper up potion we know today. In The Wizard and the Hopping Pot, what does the elder wizard leave for his son in the hopping pot? I don't know what that is either. I'm gonna... In the hopping pot. I'm gonna go with smaller pots. A smaller pot? Incorrect. A the single slipper. Was a what? single what? slipper. The story was created by Beedle the Bard, but there are a few versions. I won't spoil what the slipper was for if you haven't read it recently. Yep, The no Snallygaster is native to which region of the world? I, once again, I don't even know what that animal is. Ah, uh, Snallygaster. Sounds like an Amazon rainforest creature. The Amazon rainforest? No, the answer was North America. Of course it was. The part bird, part reptile, is a distant relative of the Okami and has serrated fangs and a bulletproof hide. Who is the Muggle Knight featured in the Fountain of Fair Fortune? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume Sir Luckless. It says Fountain of Fair Fortune. Sir Luckless. Correct. Yeah, it the ties three into the name. The in the story are named Asher, Althea, and Amata. Oh, I adore a story that ends with a twist. The world's largest kelpie is also known by what other name? Um. Largest Kelpie. Please, please be Loch Ness Monster. I don't know those other ones, but... The Loch Ness Monster. Correct. The oh, Office thank of God. Misinformation has worked diligently to discredit any muggle evidence of the Kelpie's existence. I mean, that Who makes sense. Who was the first minister for magic? <laughs> God. Uh... All right, I know the name Gamp, at least. I'm going to go Ethelred the Ever Ready. Ethelred the Ever Ready. No, the first yeah, of minister course it was, was Gamp. Ulick Gamp. Gamp's greatest legacy was the founding of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. It outlawed the unforgivable curses. I've been using those. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, oh, it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. I got most of you them wrong. You might not have got very many right. Yeah, there we go. But I'm sure you learned something regardless. Yes, I did. Thank you for humoring me by participating. I had a splendid time. So did I. I, I got the majority of those wrong. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Revelio. There we go. There's the field guide page. And collect the field guide page in the underground harbor. Yeah, I got most of those wrong. I knew the easy ones. I thought I was a fan of this universe, but apparently I'm not as big of a fan as I thought. But I do play a lot of a lot of different games, so it's hard to know everything. That is a it is a very extensive universe. I mean the Harry Potter universe. And a lot of the names people just wanted just funny names. Let's be real. Cause uh, especially in that question, the evil wizard, his name kinda rhymes the same way as adversary does. It's just 
Yeah. It's, it's hard to think. It's hard to remember so much information. At least they did it in an interesting way. Where the heck am I going here? Oh, underground harbor. There we go. Wait, is it in the underground harbor or did I just pass above it? So this is the underground harbor. Yeah, I didn't know this was a thing. So probably right here. Revelio. There we go. Field guide page. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend transfiguration. Nice. Nice. More gloves. What are those skipping stones? Let me loot this last. Ooh, that's a... No way. There we go. See, there was another collection chest. So, I guess all of them award 500 gold. So, that's good. So, transfig... Wait. Where is she at? There we go. Transfiguration class. With Professor Weasley. So that gives me the transformation spell, I believe it was. But I don't really know what that spell does. I'm gonna be honest about that I one. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her into an owl to stop students from cheating. Taking owls a bit too literally, if you ask me. Beautiful. Darn right. Owls are awesome creatures. Goodness. Settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Oh, we're learning a transfiguration spell. Okay. I was about to say, I do not know. In, I, in fact, do not know what to do. Oh, pretty cool. Apparently, your character is just a genius at magic. Oh, no, they're all geniuses. Beautifully done. Class is dismissed. Okay, and new spell. Let me actually put that in place. What is that? Transforms objects and enemies into alternate forms, whether pu puzzle solutions or harmless knickknacks. That's uh, pretty interesting. Let me... We actually put that on for the time, time being. To ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. Professor Weasley. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Just that good. Yeah, the assignments have helped. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. I feel Thank like it's going to be needed pretty soon now that you said that. I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities no clue what you're Was talking your about visit to an ex aura in upper hogsfield connected in any way to professor fig i can't begin to imagine what that was about i mean technically it wasn't i mean technically it wasn't not at all i was um 
merely interested in learning more about the Aura program. I saw Professor Sharp's Aura badge and was intrigued. That was a horrible I lie. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. So is that all the assignments for Professor Weasley? If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Glad to see you were paying close attention to my demonstration of the transformation spell. Oh, there's a field guide page here. Revelio. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Finally, I'm getting some feedback from Sebastian. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. <laughs> I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I have just the person. I remember our meet mentioning yeah. something about gobbledygook. That's perfect timing. Well... I think this is where we're going to call it for this part, to be honest. Oh, I can't even do, uh, Sebastian's. Need to be hit level 2. What am I at now? Almost level 22. Okay, we'll probably be able to do it after I finish Lodgox. But that's where we'll start for the next part. Lodgox has asked me to meet him at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts and asked that I bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Speak with a meat. Okay. Uh, once again, it's a shorter shorter part. I want to get a couple of these out. Um, I somewhat like the shorter time frame, but at the same time, it's it's really what you guys are interested in. Um, if you want me to stick to this a lot more, instead of having 40, 50, an hour long videos, let me know. Um, I like these occasionally, but I do like to get a lot of content out at the 50 minute range. But, uh, this is what we're going to call it for this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.